Today we are talking craft beer and pizza, brought to you by Frank Kent Cadillac on this edition of Greeks, Eats, and All That with me, Tammy Dombeck. And we are here with John Doe Mayfield, the official pizza and bread dough maker here at Fort Brewery and Pizza. Thanks so much for coming uh, on with you. us. Tell us a little bit about your responsibilities here and what goes into making all this great dough. Well, I make all the uh, pizza dough, all the garlic knots and uh, dog bones and pretzels, um, any other kind of specialty dough that we need. How long did it take you to kind of perfect this art of making dough? Well, it's been about five years that I've been making the uh, pizza dough recipe, about a year and a half for the pretzels. And what's your process when you try to come up with a recipe? Uh, just, <laughs> <laughs> and just see what works. I mean, I usually go through at least five different recipes before I find one that's gonna stick. Yeah, a little trial and error. Yeah. And do you have some tasters that help you with that? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody in the kitchen gets to try everything that we yeah. make. In addition to the, the homemade dough that you do here at Fort Brewery. You also have a cauliflower crust and a gluten-free crust that is made off-site, I understand. Yes, that's right. Yes, yes, yeah. So you stay away from that. No, no, I yeah. haven't tried my hand at that yet. <laughs> you just, you stick with the main stuff. Yes. The main dough. Yes. <laughs> and we are here with Charles, who is the head brewer here at Fort Brewery and Pizza. Thanks so much for coming on with us. No problem, no problem. Thanks Tell for us, having me. What is the secret to the great beer that we have oh, here? You have to really want to brew beer. That is really the only secret. It's something you really want to do. Um, a lot Does of it blood. come easy for you? Not at all. No. Not at all. It was a sharp learning curve uh, way back when I got my start, but uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So again, uh, all those uh, people looking to become head brewers of breweries, uh, you got your work cut out for you, absolutely. So tell me about the different types of, of beer, beers that you're brewing right now. Absolutely, so right now we're getting into fall. So the typical seasonal styles for fall are gonna be mm -hmm. your your maltier, your darker beers like your stouts and your porters and even your English brown ales that you wanna do. So uh, for my inaugural brew, it's perfect season for a porter and I've got a maple porter recipe I'm putting together. Ooh. Very excited for that, that one. That sounds exciting. So, um, yeah. Now looking ahead, forward to 2020. You have anything brewing new? I do, I do. There's a lot of different things in there, but the folder does read top secret on the oh, top. Oh, it's top secret. So you'll have to you'll have to come by and get get in the know with us, you know. A little <laughs> little bribe goes a long way. Yeah, yeah. May I release some of those secrets <laughs> closer to 2020. <laughs> and now I also hear that you're gonna be adding brunch. So as far as from a beer perspective for brunch, what would go good? What would a good beer be here at Fort Brewery that would go with your brunch? You know, if if you're thinking something light and something easy, yeah. I'd go with your favorite. I'd go with the Clara. Clara. And then uh, our Mexican lager, the Los Muertos, is also very, very accessible. Not a hefty, hefty beer or a very hoppy beer. So everyone's been enjoying that one. Those ones kind of, they kind of jockey for position for yeah. the top sellers. So. Now, if, if people come to Fort Brewery, are the, well, do they have access to you to ask you about the, your beers? Yes, if I'm not, you know, in up there steering steering the ship, then absolutely. You know, when I don't have my crazy hoses all patched right. through and water everywhere, it's, yeah, absolutely. You can come on back. I'll, I'll talk with you. I'll teach you a little bit about beer and fermentation yeah. science and all that good stuff. I love it. All right, y'all. I think we're going to have to do a little tasting. There we go. What do you say? <laughs> Cheers. And we're here with Dusty, the general manager here at Fort Brewery and Pizza. Hey. Uh, hey, good morning. How are you doing? Can we just call it the Fort? We can call it the Fort. We the call Fort. It. Do you go, get up in the morning and go to work? I got to go to the Fort. Got to go back to the Fort. That's yes, right. <laughs> I love it. And I love that it's so Fort Worth friendly. Uh, very much it's so. It's so lovely. We're tied into the history and the culture yes, of Fort Worth very you much. you are. Yeah. I love it. And you guys have a lot of exciting things going on here at Fort Brewery. We've got a lot of cool New things, things going on. New things coming. New things, changes. It. 
So one of the new things that we're doing is we are going to table service. We'll be offering table service here at Fort Brewery. So you can sit down, enjoy your beer and pizza, not have to worry about coming up to the bar to get a drink or get more food. Or tweaking the menu, adding some new things, making it more streamlined. We're really excited about that, adding some new appetizers. We got brunch coming on the weekend, Saturday I and heard. Sunday. We're gonna do a special Fort inspired brunch, $2 mimosas, $5 micheladas using our Los Muertos Mexican lager. Oh, yeah, so we're excited about that. That's awesome. We have a very special lunch here. We have our $8 express lunch, cheapest lunch on Magnolia, best bang for your buck. We can get a turkey sandwich with our homemade bread, a side salad and a drink all for $8, or a personal pizza, a salad and a drink for $8, or mini calzones, a salad and a drink for oh $8. Oh my gracious. I'm telling you. You got it down. <laughs> That's right. You got the whole thing down. And it's such a cool environment here, y'all. They've got a huge patio here, and it's you also have an overhang here, so if the sun is out, yep. you can sit underneath, and it's just right here off of Magnolia. And it's also, I hear you, you invite four-legged friends That's right. Well. We are dog-friendly here on the patio. We got bowls for water and everything else out there, and we have live music on Wednesday. Days. So when the weather's nice, we've got it out there on the patio, the live musicians playing. And Dusty, I hear you're doing some really special things here involving the community on Wednesdays. Yeah, we're very proud of that. Something that we do every month is we choose a nonprofit organization to support here. And on Wednesdays, part of the proceeds go to that organization. Uh, we've had all sorts of cool people coming out. We had a pet adoption one last month, and they brought out the dogs, and they adopted some of their dogs out, and they raised some money for their organization. Wow. So it was a win-win, yeah. So they can just contact you. If you are a nonprofit in the community, they can contact you and you can send them. That's them. right. Absolutely yeah. correct, yeah. That's awesome. I love it. So, Dusty, you're not in an, a local grocery store right now. However, you still can get... Brewery beer, correct? That's right. You can come into the brewery here and we are offering 32 ounce crawlers. Uh, they stay up good for up to two weeks and stay fresh and they're only eight dollars. It's a great deal and they are absolutely delicious. And you just, yeah, the, poured that this. sound right there. It's I love a, it. That sound is awesome. <laughs> So 32 ounces. 32 ounces. You can come in and buy these. Yep, and take and them just, to go. Take them to go. Take them to go. I yeah. love and it. And we do growler fills as well. Yeah. It's great for football season, y'all. That's right. Yeah, put, love put it. Put in the cooler, take it to the tailgate, you're good to go. Yes. Thanks for hanging out with me and my Frank King Cadillac friends on this edition of Greets, Eats, and All That with me, Tammy Dombeck.